And tens of thousands of Californians are part of the gig economy. Now workers at companies like Uber, Lyft, and Instacart are pushing to unionize. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ryan Yamamoto. KPX 5's Lauren Toms was there as gig workers rallied outside Uber's San Francisco headquarters. They're the people who help so many of us get from point A to point B. And they're calling for better wages and protections from the companies they work for. Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Instacart. And right now these drivers are considered independent contractors. But they say that classification isn't giving them the independence they need to survive. We are here because we are off. Dozens of gig workers rallied in front of Uber headquarters, calling for better pay and better treatment. We are fighting for our rights, you know, for our benefits, good benefits, and, um, you know, an equal, um, um, you know, opportunity uh, to a better life. Luis Massa is fighting to support his daughter, Jane. Gas prices are very expensive right now, you know, and, and everything, the food is very expensive right now, so it's really hard to, you know, um, um, buy all or, uh, groceries and, 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 you know, pay your rent. Louise flew up from Southern California, where he lives and drives full time for Lyft, all for this call to action. Now I have to work more time and I, 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 I'm not spending the same time, you know, same quality time with my family because I need to work more to get more uh, to, to uh, earn more money. They're pushing to form a statewide gig workers union after an Alameda County judge ruled Proposition 22 unconstitutional. It classified gig workers as independent contractors, exempting them from employee benefits. That really is is the ground zero for the gig economy. You, you have my assurance that I'm going to be here with you in the streets, you know, in, in City Hall and our state government, whatever it takes to, to ensure that the gig workers, you guys are, are going to be able to, to win what you, you need and deserve. Workers are seeking minimum wage, overtime, paid time off, and workers' comp. But for Louise, one benefit takes top priority. I don't have a medical to, uh, you know, just in case she gets sick, I don't have a, 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 the way to, you know, take it to the doctor. In a statement, Uber defended the independent contractor status and told KPIX5 that the economic benefits of gig work and its resiliency demonstrated during the pandemic cannot be overlooked. Open access to work on your terms enables hundreds of thousands of Californians to bridge gaps in income or pick up extra money when they need it. But these workers do not agree. Uh, be traded like this. Be trained, like, you know, like equal thing, you know, like better opportunities. So that's what I come all the way, all the way from uh, Orange County to this area. Now, this trend has caught the attention of the White House, and on Tuesday, the U.S. Department of Labor proposed a new rule that would require workers to be considered employees, which would entitle them to more benefits and legal protections. But the rule isn't finalized yet. It could take months to be solidified. But the Labor Department will be hearing public comments starting Thursday. In San Francisco, I'm Lauren Tons, KPIX 5. Now, this is far from a done deal. Several steps still need to happen for a union to be established and accepted, but it follows a recent trend by workers at big companies like Amazon and Starbucks.